Greetings, Radiance Yogis. Um, Kishi Wyatt here. And the class that we're getting ready to do together is a 30-minute class that is all about opening up the hips. It's extremely gentle. It is for all levels. And our theme is using our breath as an eraser of tension. Enjoy. Thank you for being with me. Mwah. Hello everybody, welcome to our class today, which is going to be about a 30 minute um, hip opening practice. So it's all about the hips. We will start in a seated position. I am sitting up on a blanket, but then from there we're gonna be coming down to lie on our backs. I um, recommend that you have a block, a strap. Actually two blocks would be amazing, but I'm also gonna show you how, just in case if you don't have a block at home, you can use a nice little throw cushion to do um, some of the things that we'll be doing. So let's begin by assuming our seat and closing our eyes and anchoring down into the present moment. Begin to watch your body breathing. Breath that is fluid. Breath that does not get stuck. And the breath that is going to be our tool today to erase and unlock tension. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's pause in a moment of lifting up blessings to all beings, all beings everywhere, may they be held in love and compassion right now. May they be free from pain and suffering. And may we all travel through the rest of our day with a sense of ease and a sense of peace. Let's seal that intention with a gnome. Taking a deep breath in. Um, bow your head to your heart. Release your hands down. Blink your eyes open. Good morning, good morning. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up. And twist to the left. Coming back up through center. Hands come down. So moving into our first hip opening, you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. Many of you will enjoy staying lifted on a um, prop, such as a blanket. I have to admit, because of the shape of my hips, I prefer to do this one flat on the floor. So this is something for you to experiment around um, in your own body. So soles of the feet will come together. You take your hands to your thighs and start to press the thigh bones down towards the earth, feeling external rotation in both hips. And then let's start to apply our mindfulness of breath here, letting the breath have a very specific, um, a specific duty in this class, in this time together. So the great BKS Iyengar had a quote where he said to allow your mind to be like a blackboard, your thoughts are the chalk, and your breath is the eraser. So in this particular posture, can you take your mind to the places where you feel some tension and some gripping and send your, mind, send your breath there as though it is an eraser. And notice for you, what qualities would your breath take on if it were truly erasing away tension? For me, the qualities are very soft and light, fluid. There's a sense of dissolving. 
and then coming up, holding Baddha Konasana if that's available to you, you'll take your right hand to the floor, left arm comes up and over, reaching the heart up to the sky as you press left hip down into earth. So as I am seated, I am mirroring you. And then up you come, we go the other way. Left hand reaches over to the left, right arm up and over. Now lengthening the right hip down, the right thigh bone down, spinning your chest up towards the ceiling. Breath as eraser, saturating the right side of your body. And then up you come. Okay, so from here on out, we're gonna be lying on our backs. Hooray! I'm always very excited when my yoga teacher tells me that we'll be lying on our backs. Okay, so you have the option to bring a blanket underneath your head for this first place that we're coming. Also, if you grabbed a throw pillow, you can put that under your head as well. So coming to lie down on your mats. Reach the arms out to the side, bend both legs and take your feet as wide apart as your mat. Begin to rock the knees back and forth. And as you do so, feel the spine undulating from side to side. So we know that our hips tend to be a storage place for many of our unprocessed emotions. And the beauty of these stretches that we'll be doing is that they are actually intended to help us get some of those stuck emotions, unprocessed and undigested experiences out of our bodies. So if you're ever feeling stuck, I highly recommend that you um, come to this practice. And then coming through center, let the feet come just a little bit closer, knock the knees into one another, and then take your hands behind your head if that feels okay, so you can get some bonus shoulder opening here. Close your eyes. And let's return to that idea of your mind as the blackboard. And your thoughts are the chalk. So just right here, can you start to picture all thoughts that arise being written on your chalkboard? And of course, sometimes I joke that, do we even use chalkboards anymore? So it could be a dry erase board. <laughs> Let all the thoughts be written on your board. And then invite your breath in to come and erase the thoughts away one by one. Breath as eraser for the thoughts. And then release the hands out to the side. Take the feet so that they are now hips distance apart. I will not be mirroring you anymore. Take your left ankle to your right thigh and pull the right thigh bone in towards your chest. Eye of the needle pose. Flexing both of your feet. Hug the right knee in towards your right shoulder more as the left knee travels away from you. Drop your shoulders down and here tuning into a breath, give a gentle rock from side to side. Let the breath have a soft whisper and imagine that your breath has the power to go deep into the recesses of the outer hips and unlock anything that may be locked within. Notice if your jaw becomes tight, relax there. Does your forehead become furrowed or do you start to hold tension through your temples? Release there. Breath as an eraser of tension. Coming back through center, release the hands down. Bring your right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor. And immediately over to the other side, right ankle to left thigh. Hug the left knee into your chest, interlacing fingers either behind the thigh or in front of your shin. Flex both feet, left knee towards left shoulder, right knee presses away from you. And then again, rocking from side to side. Notice where you feel the very most sensation. Dive into that place with your breath. And watch your breath 
dissolve the tension. Letting go, letting go, letting go. And coming to stillness, release the hands, release the legs, and stretch your legs straight out onto the floor. Take a full body stretch. On your next exhale, pull the left knee to chest. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, pull the right knee to chest. Inhale, full body stretch. Bring your hands down, bend the legs, feet to the floor, grab your strap. If you don't have a strap, of course, you could use a blanket. Oh, excuse me, you could use a belt or you could use a um, dish towel. Sorry, my blanket was too high, so I'm readjusting here. Pull your left knee into chest, strap your left foot, stretch, uh, stretch the left leg straight up to the sky. Notice I'm starting on the left side today. I'm trying to get out of my habits and patterns of always going to the right side first. Soften the shoulders down. And so you have the option to keep the right leg bent or to stretch the right leg straight. Say good morning or good afternoon whenever you happen to be watching this to the hamstrings on the left side. So now let's use the out breath as a way to release the tension that we hold in our left hamstrings. You'll inhale, meet the tension head on, honor it, see it, feel it. Then on the exhale, breathe out through your mouth. And imagine that that out breath has the power to cleanse the hamstrings of all tension that they are holding. So let's do that together several times, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, in, out, several more with your breath. And if thoughts arise, and your breath will also be applied to thoughts. Just like the breath erases tension from the backs of your left leg, your breath can erase away your thoughts. So just for now, our mind can be clear, as pure as a bright blue sky. And then you'll bend your left knee, put the strap to the side, full body stretch. Both arms come out to the side in the letter T, bend both legs, and now take the feet as wide apart as the mat. Drop both of your knees over to the right side, moving into internal rotation through the left hip. Look down at your left thigh bone. Ideally, you want it to be parallel to the sides of your mat. So for me, that meant that I needed to walk my left foot to the left a bit. And then if you want a little extra sensation, you'll take your right heel and place it on your left thigh. And if you want even more sensation, your left arm is gonna come up and overhead. Your right hand will grab the left wrist. And notice the left elbow and the left shoulder will be falling down towards the earth. So now we can picture the breath moving up and down the left side of your body. Let's breathe in through the left nostril and watch the breath trickle down through the left shoulder, left waist, left hip, left knee. And then exhale, coming out again, erasing away tension. Inhale through the left side, saturating left side with awareness and breath. Exhaling, traveling, out, out, releasing, letting go. One more. Exhale. Preparing to come out, the hands release to the side. You slide the right foot away, both knees up. And rock the knees from side to side. And notice what you're starting to feel in the outer hips and notice how things are starting to shift and how tension truly is beginning to be erased away. Coming back through center, grab your strap 
And now moving on to the right side, right knee to chest, drop your right foot, stretch it straight up to the sky. And then feel free to stretch the left leg straight. Shoulders relax. If you flex the left toes towards the left kneecap, the sensation will be even more delicious. <laughs> and now maybe even closing your eyes and diving wholeheartedly into what you are feeling in the back of your right leg. You inhale to notice, to see, to feel, to embrace. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Releasing away, dissolving, erasing tension. Inhale, noticing and holding. Exhaling, releasing, letting go. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath. Exhale, bend your right leg, strap to the side, take a full body stretch. And then the hands come down, feet to the floor. Again, walk your feet really wide, maybe even wider than your mat, arms to the side. And this time the knees drop over to the left. Peek at your right thigh bone, walk it so that it's parallel to the sides of your mat. Staying here might be your perfect place. Otherwise, if you want more, you'll lift the left heel, place it on your right thigh bone. Flexing both feet. That just helps keep a nice, um, stable position through the knees. And then if you want to add some shoulder opening to this, your right arm will come up and overhead. Your left hand grabs the right wrist. And just please be sure that the right shoulders are not lifting off the earth. You want the right shoulder dropping down, the right shoulder blades dropping down, the right waist dropping down. And now returning to a breath that moves through just one side. So breathing in through the right nostril, watching the right side body fill up all the way down to the right knee. And then traveling out again, imagining that out breath. So it's sweeping, purifying, cleansing, letting go. Inhaling through the right side. Exhaling, sweeping, purifying, cleansing. Last breath, breathing in together. Breathing out together. Releasing the hands or the arms. Slide the left leg away. Rock the knees from side to side as the feet come a little bit closer together. Okay, so for the next place we're going, we're moving into supported bridge. Please have absolutely nothing underneath your head. And then I'm going to give you some options for what you can do to support your hips. Option number one is for those of you with a block at home, you're going to use your block. Lifting your hips, slide the block underneath your sacrum, and then coming so that the hips can just rest completely on the sacrum. For those of you who do not have a block, you could use a throw pillow. So I'm going to show that quickly. You'll lift your hips, slide the pillow underneath, and then lower down. So. Oh, that feels really good, actually. <laughs> so I actually am going to return to the block because I'm going to assume most of you do have the block. Um, as you're playing with uh, using different props up around your house, um, the pillow can be different heights, right? So a lower height would make this stretch less intense. Okay, please reach both arms overhead so you get some length through the side body here. Close your eyes. Your feet are about hips distance apart and parallel to one another. Your sacrum is dropping down, down, down with gravity. Your shoulder blades drop down into the earth. And now imagining again that your mind is like a chalkboard. 
And let's be mindful and intentional about what we write on our chalkboard. Let's write some things that we're grateful for. So bringing to mind something that you're grateful for, write it on your chalkboard. I am grateful for, and then fill in the blank. And then use your breath to erase that thought away. So even though it was a peaceful thought, a positive thought, we're practicing non-attachment and erasing away. And again, bringing to mind something for which you are profoundly grateful and writing it once again on your chalkboard. I am profoundly grateful for Write it on your board. And then again, use your breath to erase it away. And then the hands come down. Okay, so now we're gonna move into some big hip flexor opening. If at any time this becomes too intense, you can get rid of the block. So begin by pulling the right knee to chest. And we're going to be stretching the left hip flexors. And then you'll stretch the left leg as close to straight as you can possibly get them. This is one of my favorites. Of course, you might know <laughs> that I say that about everything, about every stretch. This one's my favorite. <laughs> this really is one of my favorites, though. So you'll flex your left foot. Kick the left heel powerfully away from you, and what you'll see is you're getting this really nice stretch to the top of your left hip. Okay, and so now I'm gonna give you a little something to add to this. Please only add this if it feels right in your body. The right uh, uh, hand is gonna stay hugging right shin in. Then your left hand is gonna come to rest on the top of the left hip. And then see if you can breathe into your left palm. It's as though the left palm is receiving the gift of your breath. And again, picturing your breath as an eraser, giving your breath permission to dissolve the tension that is lying beneath the left palm. Here we stay for five. Four, three, two, one. The left hand can return to right shin. Bend your left leg, left foot to the floor, and release the right foot down. Hands by your side. Stretch both legs as straight, as close to straight as you can. And you'll probably notice that there's a difference in your two sides. You can feel how you literally erase tension from the front of the left hip. So let's even that out, both feet to the floor. Now you'll pull the left knee into chest. Stretch the right leg as close to straight as possible. Staying here can be plenty for a little extra juice. You flex the right foot and you kick the right heel away from you, right thigh bone descending towards the earth. So you can stay here, or if you want to um, have that connection to your breath a little, more, a little more completely, keep the left hand on the left shin. Right hand comes to the right hip point. And breathe deeply into the right palm. With every breath, you can imagine that the right palm softens into the tissues of the front of the right hip a little more completely. Breathing in, your breath meets the right palm. Breathing out, the right palm descends down, down, melting into your flesh. Breathing in, and breathing out.
And next, both hands to your left shin. Bend your right leg, foot to the floor, left foot to the floor, hands to your side. And now stretching both legs straight out to stay for several breath cycles. This time, just let the legs be very relaxed. Let the toes externally rotate away from one another. And then again, you can bring your hands to your hip points. Breath as eraser. Your palms are there as a tactile reminder. As a way to strengthen your embodied connection. Uniting mind, body, and breath. Hands glide away, coming to the earth. Bend your legs. Press into your feet. On an inhale, lift your hips, sweep your, sweep your arms up and overhead. Exhale, everything floats back down again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. So now it's just the hands that come down. Lift your hips as high as you can, and then you'll use your hands to slide the prop that was resting beneath your hips to the side. Both hands to the floor, five counts to slowly lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Hips come all the way down to the earth. Allow the sacrum to settle down, down, down. And then again, locate your strap. Mine's hiding from me. Pull your left knee to chest, strap your left foot and stretch it straight up to the sky. Okay, and now the right leg will stretch straight Take both straps into your right hand, release the left hand out to the side, gazing up at your right, excuse me, your left toes, flex your left toes, and then move the left leg over the midline of your body. So you can take your left hand and bring the left thumb right into your hip crease and flower the four fingers around the outer edge of your left thigh, and then use that touch to press the thigh bone away from you and you'll feel a very interesting something something happen. For me, I feel a screaming sensation in the outer uh, left kneecap. And I'm assuming that's really good for me. <laughs> it's actually just telling me that my IT band is tight down where it connects um, at the outer knee. And then your left hand can come to the side, close your eyes, dive into sensation with breath, Allow your breath to be an eraser of tension for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale your leg up, bend your knee, strap to the side. Stretch the legs straight and rest your hands by your side. Bounce out your knees. A really cool point to pause and feel. Notice the difference between the left side and the right side. Can you literally feel that tension is being erased away? And then on to the other side. Right knee to chest. Strap your right foot. Stretch the right leg straight up to the sky. Flexing the toes towards the kneecap. And then taking both straps into your left hand, right arm at first releases to the side as you align the right big toe with the left shoulder. Remember, the more you flex your toes, the more sensation you will experience. And then if you wish, you can take the right thumb, place it in the right hip crease. The four fingers will wrap around the outer thigh and you press the outer thigh away from you. 
So if you were in class with me, I would be coming around giving hands-on adjustments and pulling that thigh bone away from your right shoulder. And I love when I do that because everybody's eyes pop out of their heads, <laughs> which means that you're doing it right. <laughs> Softening and breathing, closing your eyes. Four, three, two, one. Inhale the leg up, then the knee, strap to the side, full body stretch. And then the hands come down. For our final relaxation pose, I'm going to recommend Supta Baddha Konasana. So we started in Baddha Konasana from a seated position. The soles of the feet come together as the knees open out to the side. If this is overly intense in your body, you simply take the blocks underneath your thigh bones, or of course you could put towels or pillows under the thigh bones. And then another option for my friends who happen to be pretty flexible in terms of external rotation, is you'll actually take both of your feet and place them on a block. I personally love this variation. You can bring a blanket under your head for comfort. And then we'll just take a little bit of time here to wind down and seal our practice. Returning to the idea of your mind like a chalkboard and your thoughts are the chalk. And here we're going to write down a positive affirmation. I am so grateful for this present moment. And then erase that affirmation away with your breath. Next affirmation for you to write down. In this moment, I allow myself to be a being of peace, joy, and love. Absorb the positive vibrations of that affirmation. And then use your breath to erase it away. And then one more affirmation. I am so grateful for today. I will travel through this day embodying peace, embodying love, embodying strength, and embodying resilience. Absorb those positive vibrations and then use your breath to erase that affirmation away. Preparing to come out, feel free to stay here as long as you wish, but I will be calling you out. Take your hands to the outer thighs, push the knees together. Move any props to the side. Rock your knees from side to side. Then roll over to your favorite side, cradling your head with your arm. Press yourselves up to a seated position. Bringing your hands to your heart. Bow your head to your heart and honor the way you feel after allowing your breath to be an eraser of tension. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today.
I hope your day is full of little miracles. Namaste.